Today's story is Katie and the Starry Night, a magical journey through the five Van Gogh masterpieces, by James Mayhew. Katie and Grandma loved to go on trips together. Sometimes, for a treat, Grandma took Katie to the art gallery. One day, they went to see some paintings by Vincent Van Gogh. Katie's favorite was called the Starry Night. It looks magical, she said, like a dream. Talking of dreams, said Grandma, I could do with a nap. Katie looked more closely at the picture. The stars seemed to be moving. Grandma was almost asleep, so Katie quietly climbed through the picture frame and into the painting. The dazzling stars sparkled and swirled. They looked close enough to touch, so Katie reached out and grasped one. "I must show Grandma," she said, putting the star safely in her pocket. Jumping back into the gallery, Katie saw some other stars twirling after her. Perhaps they want to play. She laughed, jumping up to catch them, but she couldn't quite reach. Hmm, I need something to stand on," said Katie. She saw a picture called Vincent's chair. That's perfect," she smiled. Katie quickly dragged the chair out of the picture as more and more stars. Tumbled into the gallery, but even standing on the chair, Katie couldn't reach all the stars, and some floated into another picture called Noon. She decided to chase after them, and so climbed through the frame. A young couple were napping in the shade on a hot summer's day. The stars tumbled into the sky. And night soon fell upon the countryside. The woman, whose name was Marie, woke up. Oh, look at all the stars! She said. Surely they don't belong in this painting. Er, no," said Katie. "Would you help me catch them?" Climbing up the haystack. Katie and Marie had a wonderful time jumping to catch the stars and landing in the soft hay. But when they jumped back into the gallery, the spinning stars slipped through their fingers once again. We must get them back in their painting before the gallery guard sees they're missing," said Marie. But even Marie wasn't tall enough to catch them. Look. There's a ladder," said Katie, spotting a picture called the Olive Grove. She quickly clambered through the frame. Women were gathering olives from a tree. "Please, can I borrow your ladder?" asked Katie. "I have to catch some stars." The ladies laughed. "Ma chérie, you cannot catch stars. You can with a ladder," said Katie. Come and help me. They all raced back into the gallery, and the olive pickers held the ladder steady as Katie climbed up to catch the twirling stars. It was tricky work because the stars wouldn't keep still. The more Katie tried to catch them, the more they spun away. The stars were drifting towards another painting called. Fishing boats on the beach. Come on, we must catch them," said Marie. They all climbed inside. In the picture, the stars were caught on a breeze and twirled out to sea. How will we reach them now?" asked Marie. "Let's take a boat," said Katie. "Oh yes, a boat ride," said the olive pickers, giggling. They sailed across the sea, as the stars sparkled in the sky. Oh, what shall we do? Worried Marie. The stars are so high. Katie saw a big fishing net in the boat. 
"Let's try this," she said. They all threw the net as high as they could, and caught the stars. At last," said Katie, as everyone cheered. Back in the gallery, they all quickly ran to the starry night picture. Now, we can put the stars back before the guard finds out," said Katie. They threw the stars into the sky, but it didn't look quite right. What's that in your pocket, Katie? Asked Marie. My star, said Katie. I wanted to show it to Grandma, but it might float away again, said Marie. Put it in the starry night, and then you can see it whenever you want. So, Katie threw the star up. Into the painting. Thank you, everyone," said Katie. "We did it, and now we must return to our pictures too," said Marie. "Au revoir, ma chérie." "Goodbye," called Katie. Katie put the chair back where it belonged, just in time as the gallery guard came past. "Phew," said Katie. "Hello." Good afternoon," he said, and then Grandma woke up. "Oh, I must have nodded off," she said. "I had a lovely dream about stars." Katie giggled. That night, Katie and Grandma looked out of the window. It was a beautiful starry night. The stars look almost alive," said Grandma. "Perhaps they are," laughed Katie. Grandma smiled. Perhaps she said, "Good night, Katie." Thanks for watching Story Time with Miss Rose. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed the book, there's a link to purchase in the description below. Thank you.